I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I want to tell you a story. It's a good story. Yesterday, my granddaughter was here, and we were reading, and then we were singing, and we were telling each other stories. And then she looked up at me, and she said, Daddy yelled at me. I said, what? When did he do that? She said, this morning, he yelled at me. I said, oh, my goodness, do you want me to yell at him? She said, yeah. She lit up so happy, like, yeah. So I called her father and I said, Jabril, I'm going to tell you soon and just go along with it. She said, okay, mom. I said, why do you yell at Elena? You don't yell at Elena. And he, he said, I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry, Elena. And I said, why did you yell at her? And he said, mom, she wouldn't put her seatbelt on. She took it off and would not get back in it. And I was driving and I told her to put her seatbelt on. She wouldn't. She was doing this. She was saying, I'm not going to put it on. I said, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And so Elena's there. And so now her face isn't so happy, but she's kind of like, I said, well, I don't care. You don't yell at her. You hear me? And he says, yes, ma'am. And then Elena says, thank you, daddy. And so she's kind of like happy. So then my daughter Fatima comes in and I tell her this story. And she said, but did she tell you why she, he, she, he yelled at her? And I said, um, I found out why. And so then she tells me when my son got here, he was like, let me tell you what Elena did. And I told her, I'm telling Googie, I'm telling Googie Fatima, I can't believe she did this. So she was kind of in a modified kind of stay in this space and no coloring until an hour later because of that. And she knew that that was what was going on. But my daughter wasn't here. My son wasn't here. And so she decided to tell me her side of the story so that they would be in trouble and she wouldn't. Did I mention my granddaughter is five? We are walking around telling one side of our story, telling our side that somebody said to me, they yelled at me and they said so and so and so. Uh, did you tell them what you did? Did you tell them you came in acting crazy, yelling, demanding, cussing people out, saying whatever you needed to say, doing whatever you needed to do? Did you tell your side, their side of the story? Of course not. You see, we want to be right even when we're wrong. And what we're doing is going along and trying to grab people to build a kind of a team that will support you in your wrongness. And we figure is that there's lots of us in our wrong that it somehow makes us right because all of us are saying the wrong thing. We don't have to follow the science. There's a lot of us who don't want to. There are many people who are mouth breathers and can't wear a mask. There are many people who need to gather on Thanksgiving with all of their family members and everybody who's coming from everywhere else. There are people who need to do this. And because there's many of us, we're right. And what's so amazing is good people will say nothing. They'll say nothing because we don't like chaos. We don't like confusion. I grew up with a mother who, if you told her a story about some chaos and confusion and you were somehow involved in it, it became, well, what does that have to do with you? Why are you talking about it? Did it put any money in my bank account? Da -da 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 -da. And it became all of that. And so as a result, we kind of stay out of it. And my daughter got a little bit angry with the story. Because she realized that, uh, that I was taking sides with Elena. Because she's cute and because she's my granddaughter. And because I'm a much better grandmother than I was a mother. <laughs> Everybody is. And it frustrated her because even though she's five, these are lessons to be learned. But we're not five. And we're walking around, trying to find, telling the same story over and over and over again. Even though something is 
bothering you and telling you that's not right, just stop telling it. Just apologize. Just do better next time. Just be quiet. They forgave you. Keep moving. But that's not enough. We not only need to be right, we need a gang of other people behind us saying that we are. My granddaughter's five. We're not. It's time that we grow up, speak truth to the lie, speak truth to power, and walk in the beauty of what can be and what will be better if we just stop trying to get our own way. I love you.